Hello, I'm Stephen Boylan and you're very welcome to our new uh, Eastern Summer Reading vlog. Um, today I'm delighted to welcome Santa Montefiore, uh, who's here with us. Um, summertime, uh, it's time to go on holidays. What kind of holidays do you like to have? Do you like to go to the beach? Do you like to have, go on city breaks, adventure holidays? What's your kind of favourite? Should you do beach? Because I think um, working as I do, where I'm concentrating so hard on my books, yeah. I then, and also I'm writing, so I don't have a lot of time to read. I like to just go and lie on my sun lounger in a beautiful place where I don't have to do anything at all. Certainly not go around museums, which is their time limit. Yeah. Um, and then I read all the books that I've been longing to read all year and haven't been able to read because I'm writing. Yeah, I think that's the best thing about holidays. Is it is finally a chance for you to catch up on all the books that everybody Absolutely. has been talking about all year long. Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. So you've picked out some books from our summer reading promotion that you are dying to bring on holidays yourself. Yes. So what have you got for us? Okay, so I've got <clears throat> The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine has recommended this to me, actually. In fact, two friends. And I think when a lot of people are talking about a book, I feel there's something there telling me to buy it. Yeah. So it sounds rather eccentric, where Harold Fry receives a letter from an old friend Queen who's in trouble, and he goes to post his response, but then just is compelled to keep on walking to go and rescue her. Yeah. And I think it's all about the people that he meets on the way, and I think it's, I've been told it's very touching, very moving, very funny. Uh, and I like quirky yeah. books, so I think this one's going to be quite quirky. Yeah, I've actually read it myself, and you do need kind of a box of tea next to the end of it because it is. Oh yeah, good. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a weepy at the end. Oh good, I yeah, want yeah. an emotional, it's emotional fantastic. roller coaster. How lovely! Yeah, yeah. And her new one is just out as well, perfect. But um, it's great talent and really want to watch. Well, if I like this yeah. one, then I'll buy the next one, fantastic. and I'm sure I will like it. Um, I just like the idea of him just walking and walking. He doesn't even have the right shoes. Yeah. And I'm sort of thinking, well, what does his wife think? Does he let her know that he's going to just walk and walk and walk? There's just this thing that compels yes. him. He just has to keep doing it and doing it. It's fantastic. And there's no mobile phones or anything. No, so nothing. Yeah. I know, I love that. So I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Fantastic. One. What else have you got? Okay, Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly Wright. Mm -hmm. This is a whodunit. It's about a daughter who commits suicide and her mother in an effort to find out what happened, reconstructs her life. So I rather like that, it's mystery. Yeah. Um, I don't know anything more than that, but I do know that a lot of people I know have read it and say it's very good. There's a huge amount of buzz on it coming from the States, kind of very much along the lines of Gone Girl, which has been a huge, huge success. Huge success and like a, a real book that everybody is talking about. It's been number one for months and months. Yes, so it's it has. Kind of very much along those lines, I think. It's a real kind of page from the beat oh, absolutely gripping. Okay, so that's yeah. quite two rather different books there, two very I think. Different books, yeah, yeah, quite yeah. fun to have a bit of variety. Absolutely. And you've got a couple of Irish authors as well. Oh, I have, absolutely. I've got Marianne Keyes here, The Mystery of Mercy Close. Now, I haven't read any other um, Marianne Keyes. Uh, weirdly, because they're so popular and lots yeah. of my friends have read them. Um, it's recommended by Jojo Moyes here, who's a friend of mine. We share the same agent. A brilliant, unusually brave, sexy book. So that's a yeah. recommendation, isn't it? Absolutely. But it follows the Walsh family and the youngest Walsh sister. Yeah, yeah. But I don't believe I have to read the ones before to enjoy no, this one. I think it kind of stands on its own. And then if I like it, I can go and read the others. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. absolutely fantastic on Twitter. I don't know if you follow Marion on Twitter, but she is just hilarious. Well, my husband went uh, to a talk that she gave, yeah. and I think he was giving a talk himself at one of these literary festivals, and he just wandered in and listened to her. He said she was brilliant, really funny, yeah. very engaging, and he said, why haven't you read any of her books? I'm sure you'd love her books. She was so funny. Yeah. So here I am reading one now. Fantastic. Excellent. Uh, Patricia Scanlon. Oh, Patricia Scanlon. Yes, here we go. Um, based in Dublin, yes, am I right? Indeed. Uh, and it's a story of a young woman in the 80s who has a child out of wedlock, mm -hmm. which in itself at that time must have been big quite deal, yeah. a big deal. And then a family tragedy uh, shatters their lives. So it's a it's a mystery. I like. It's also is it over two generations? I think so. Yeah. Which I rather sad, like. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like that. I like family. I like secrets. Yeah. Um, a bit of mystery. There's obviously a lot of love in it. Yeah. Heartwarming. Yeah, yeah. That's a word that resonates with me. I like heartwarming. Yeah. She's got so, a huge fan base as well, and she's hugely, hugly popular. She must so, be yeah, big, yeah. I mean, she's big everywhere, but yeah, huge, huge yeah. here, I presume. Being yeah, an Irish writer. Huge, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Go on, have a great holiday. You are. You're not going to be able to talk to anybody. You're just I going to know. be the whole time. My husband's going to be furious, actually. <laughs> not only that, but um, am I going to have enough time? I might have to take an extra week. You're going to need an extra suitcase. Yes, I think I am. <laughs> I know. And finally, the book that's been winning every single award. That bring up, up bodies. For, yes, indeed. Well, I've time. read Wolf Hall. Yes. So this follows Cromwell again. Exactly. And as Cromwell 
gains power in the court of Henry VIII, Anne Boleyn is losing power. Yes. Love Anne Boleyn. I find her like we all find it fascinating. We all know the story. We all know how it ends. Yeah. And yet we still want to read yeah. more and more, more about right. it. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think Hilary Mantel obviously is a wonderful writer. Yeah. Received all those prizes, and it's been recommended by loads of people. It's a great read. Uh, so there's my a bit of historical fiction for me. The tunes are really hot right now for some reason. Like, yes. You know, Philippa Gregory and the I've like, read all her show too, and I know. Brilliant, yeah. And it's just a fascinating time in history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so actually all happening. those big houses, Hampton Court, and they're all still around. Yeah. So if I, you know, I like the book and then go and look at all the houses and imagine that I'm there. Yeah, so I've got a really great pile up here, look at that. Wonderful. And um, these are all the books that you're going to bring. Yes. But if we had one recommendation for other people to bring on holidays, it would have to be oh, Secrets of, of the Whitehead by Santa Montefiore. <laughs> and tell us a little bit, this is the new one that's just published by Simon Schuster. Tell us a little bit about it. It's based in Connemara. Yes. It's a big love and mystery based around the ruin of an old lighthouse in Connemara. Yeah. Uh, it uh, has a big, strong um, life after death theme mm -hmm. running through it. Half the book is narrated by a woman who is in spirit. Yeah. And she doesn't want to move on because she wants to stay close to her husband and children. Uh, and yet she doesn't anticipate that he is inevitably going to fall in love again. Yeah. And how is she going to feel when that happens? So it's, um, it's, it's a more gothic book than my others. And I think the wild, rugged, um, rather haunting landscape of Connemara lends itself very well to the life after death, the sort of ghostly yeah. um, themes in the book. Yeah, and you spent some time in Connemara. Oh, right? as a child, oh, yeah. and was totally blown away by that landscape. It's and actually revisiting it in my mind now with the haunting music of Lord of the Rings that yes, I listened indeed. to yeah, yeah. as I travelled in my imagination back to Connemara. Um, I adored writing it, I just felt I was there. Yeah. And I will definitely go back um, and revisit it. I haven't been there for a long time. And you were saying that, you know, this could be the first book that you write in Ireland, that there's, there's, there's more there? There's more well, coming. I finished the next one, which isn't, so I've yeah. given myself a little break. I think Very with the book I'm going to start writing in the autumn, I think I'll come back to Ireland. I'm inspired having been here. For a visit. Right. Yes! Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure Well, thank you. you for having me and thank you for selling my book. No problem at all. Um, you can get the full summer reading list on easons.com and also in store. And don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at easons and on Facebook. See you again soon.